Shit. One second. I, f I, I forget what Riku's mix is, and I gotta look it up. Which one it is. We gotta do it. Five cheers, and that's the one I need. Crazy how I can't find an answer. Sorry. I don't know why it's not telling me out of the two of them which one does that, uh, but so stupid. Okay, 
this this site does tell you. You're still cheer five times on all party members. That's the one I need. Hyper Vitality. I thought it was that one, but I just... I wanted to make sure before we used it. And it's super easy to do, too. I think it's Stamina Tonic and Potion. I think. I sure hope. Wait, I don't have potions. Shit! Explosion, then. Yeah. So that's double the HP and cheer times five. We mostly did it for the cheer times five because we can't double our HP. And because of that, we should take, yeah, look how little damage we took. That normally would have done over 9,999. And with our auto potion on, go right back up to full health. All right, good. What am I doing? Why didn't I attack that guy? What the fuck's wrong with me? I didn't even, I forgot he was even there. I literally forgot the arm was there. I didn't see him. So what's on me now? It did something to me. I think it took away the cheers. Which is not the biggest deal now that we have Riku out. We'll find out, I guess. I think it took away the mana tonic thing also, or the mana, te or the three stars. Never mind, it didn't. It's good. Very good.
Good morning, Ken Jerry. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I saw you wrote that last night. I I was like half asleep. About to pass out. Pretty funny. <laughs> sound like me when I get super pissed off at a game, calling it the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Garbage trash ever played. <laughs> Why do you say that? What's, what happened? What happened that causes, is causing this outburst? This strategy seems way better than the one I was doing last night. I mean, kind of new already, auto. I just, I thought we'd be fine without auto haste, and I was wrong. Well, we probably still could have won, but it was it was gonna take a while, and I figured I'd rather just start over, to be honest. We were only getting like one, maybe if we counterattack, two free hits on Penance at a time. So his health going down less than 200,000 every full round. That was going to take forever to take his one point, or his 12 million HP down. That would take forever. And I didn't want it to be like that, so. Plus it was late at night. Ugh. I had a headache. I was ready for bed. I shouldn't even have attempted it last night, but this is, uh, now that we have auto haste and auto protect on, this is gonna be a lot easier. Because we don't have to keep re reapplying haste after every dispel. That was annoying. I wonder if there's something I should do with Titus's limb break. I could give it to Waka, I guess. Wasting a turn doing that, though. And I ain't using it with Waka until there's an arm out here, so... Speak of the devil. Speak of the very large devil. Phase 2. 
boss fight where he chases down the corridor and needs to kill you and you have to wait for the elevator and try to avoid him until it's defended and threw me so badly I had to walk away I almost threw my controller. $500 TV, so I gave up and went to play Rev 2. While well, explaining to my girlfriend how a Resident Evil spin off B Team games, even better than that second shit. Dog shit eating trash. Hell yeah, Revelations 2 is better. Way better. Uh, I don't remember that part because it's been quite a while now, but I don't really remember, but that sucks though. Sorry about that, man. How far are you in Rev 2? You're in a sewer. Oh shit, phase two, here we go. Here we go, here we go, phase two. Phase two lasts basically for the rest of the battle, I'm pretty sure. Or most of it at least. It's gonna be a lengthy phase. Now I'm really nervous. Uh, nothing holds a candle to Resident Evil. Yeah, but you gotta remember, like, I wasn't... Of course, of course Resident Evil's better. Even some of the worst Resident Evils are probably better than that game. Or at least, like, all the main ones are definitely better, for sure. You know, all the numbered entries. But you gotta remember, that team, that game was made by probably a very small team, for one thing. Way less experienced, I would assume. Uh, I think all things are considered, it's not a bad game. It wasn't a great game by any means, but I don't think it's a terrible game. I also don't remember a lot of it, too, so... <laughs> it definitely was not the best, that's for sure. Um, but hey, man, I've been there. I've been... I've been pissed. Hell, I just called fucking... I called Final Fantasy VII Rebirth dog shit when I was uh, angry about the... And I love that game. That game's incredible. The game of the year for me. At least so far. Um... Even six is better. Oh yeah, I like six better for sure. I've never been so angry. Oh man, never. That boss fight is horseshit. How many times did you try him? And did you look up a video or something? Maybe. Not that you should have to do that. I'm just saying. You shouldn't have to look up a boss fight to try to, you know whatever but I was just curious if you did to see what what someone else did maybe all right before we start the second phase I have a headache so I'm taking headache medicine
okay, so I read that he actually has haste in his second phase, it, but for only one turn, I guess. Still, it probably is worth it to ca cast the spell. Let me see. Or oh, throw a purifying salt. Which also does a tiny bit of damage, so whatever. A very tiny bit of damage. But at least it doesn't have haste on, I guess. Probably wasn't even worth it to do that, but whatever. Sorry, I was reading something. Let's let's go ahead and do this. I'm just nervous that we're gonna I think we're mostly good for the rest of the fight, honestly. Cause he's gonna start doing that uh, that shit he was doing last night, emulation. Armor break and mental break. Here's the difference though. The big difference. The equipment I had on last night did not have automatic haste. Auto haste. Why is that a big deal? Because every time I have to remove armor break, it also removes haste. But now that I have auto haste on, it won't remove haste, so the characters will still be at top speed, which means I'll be able to go more often, it'll be my turn more often, and I can safely remove armor and mental break. They also have auto potion, so I don't have to heal. <laughs> auto X potion is just insanely busted. Of course, you have to have 99 X potions for it to work really well against this boss, but that's easy to get once you're at the end of the game, so... So we should be good to go now. I think we, we got this battle. It's over. I mean, it's not over. It's gonna be like another half hour, but it's over, essentially. As long as I don't do something stupid and fuck up somewhere. Entirely possible. I'm gonna do energy rain. Oh, maybe I should have done the other one, damn it. I should have done the, the, the hack and slash, whatever the fuck it's called. That one's not bad either, though. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here. Especially when doing the overdrives, I apologize. Let me explain to you my breaking point. You have to stun the boss. Good. Okay, good. Put gas tanks and it caused him to kneel down to where you can get by him. Well, I blew up a gas tank and he was stunned kneeling on the floor. And when I ran by him, he instantly just glitched out and reached out and killed me. And at that point, I was just ready to throw the fucking controller. Whack-ass developers. <laughs> I hope those Italian assholes see my comments so they know how bad they suck. And they'll never be Resident Evil no matter how hard they try. So I take it you're not playing the sequel. <laughs> I still actually have to beat that. I got like 90% of the way through it and then just stopped playing it because I was playing other stuff that I liked more. Um, you'll probably like the sequel more. It was more of like third person, like 
I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the. I don't really remember the original that well, so I can't really speak on how different. But I have a bad memory, man. Uh, my day is going good though. I got. I got something I got to do here soon, probably. But hopefully, we'll have enough time to do this and stream for a little bit first. Hell no, I never want to play another game with them ever, ever, ever again. Damn! That sucks, man. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Move at this point forward. I'm gonna be nervous as hell using Walker's overdrive because if I if I fuck it up, that's a wasted turn then, and that's gonna suck. But it probably won't be that big of a deal as long as I choose the right times to use it. With like extra turns afterwards and stuff. Still, <coughs> and it's so easy to do once you get the hang of it. But it's just still, I could mess up. Play Honk on RE2 with no weapons a million times in a row than that trash. Me too. That's way more fun playing RE2. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This music though goes hard. It's good epic music for like a boss fight that's gonna take half 30 to 60 minutes to beat and is the hardest boss in the game by far. I was hoping to do more than that, but whatever. Fair enough.
worst part is you're literally near the end of the game. Have you ever been so frustrated over a game that it made you feel like you wanted to cry out of anger? Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely at some point. Doesn't usually happen, especially nowadays, but... Yeah. <laughs> Hell, I almost got to that point with FF7 Rebirth. You heard how angry I was and how frustrating it was. Trying to do the... The brutal and legendary challenge in that game, it was pissing me off. It's so, so dumb. But that's a good game, though. Getting super upset over a good game is different than a mediocre game. Because you can forgive it then in the long run because it's so good. So I didn't quite reach that point, but it was ups it was brutal challenges in that game were dumb. It's fortunate that but and there's another difference. You don't have to do the brutal challenges to beat the game. Those are just extra challenges. The shit you're talking about in that game is mandatory if you want to beat it. So that's a big difference. But yes, I have felt that way about games before in the past. On occasion, especially when I was younger. I'm gonna get nervous every single time I do walk with overdrive now. I really am. I just, it's so easy to do once you have done it a million times in a row like I have. But still, one little mess up. You're about to go try it again right now? <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes, man. That's all you gotta do is you gotta give it a break if you get that upset. You You'll eventually feel good again and be like, I can do this. And get back to it. You got this, bro. You got this.
That made my heart drop when the other one popped up. I thought we were dead for a second. Oh, jeez. I think let's take a chill pill from the overdrives, especially for more than one person. We'll use it every now and then with Waka, maybe, but... Because it's like, it messes up the order, and I don't know, let's just take a, take a minute from that. Maybe we should chill from, from doing those for now. At least if you're just doing quick hits, it might take a little longer, maybe, but... The arms will always die before he gets a turn then, because you're always constantly doing quick hits and killing them. You might hit him less, but... Slightly less, but... At this point, I don't know. Let's just see how it goes.
I, I don't know why I put on my wife, just because I, I realized I didn't have it on and it just made me nervous not having it on, so. Just in case. At least I have Auto Protect and Auto Phoenix. So if I do die and the Auto Life activates, we'll automatically have Phoenix uh, haste on again, so. Uh, I, because of that, I could see us coming back from death if we did die. I could see us making a comeback from that. Which is why I wanted it on.
I don't know how much health we've taken from him, but I feel like it could be any time we, we might be seeing Overkill pop up on the screen for him. <coughs> nah, he probably still has a lot left. I, I'm bad at being able to tell how far away we are from beating him. We've been in the battle for a while now, though, so... We've been doing some pretty decent damage to him overall. So it could be almost over. Or it could be going for a little while longer, I have no idea, really. I guess is as good as mine. Wow, that sucks. It only hit him once. That could be bad. Potentially. I need to hurry up and kill him. The other one's about to come back.
Yo, what's up, Mac? No, no HP limit. No break HP limit. Went with a different strategy this time. Since I didn't want to put, since I didn't have auto haste on my break HP limit armor, um, I could have, I could have, I have other break HP limit armor. Oh, he's dead. GG. Here, I'll just show you. That is game right there. That is penance dead. No Zanmato. And no break HP limit. Although some would say you don't need it at all. Oh yeah, use that X potion, Waka. And clearly you don't need it, but. Hey! Look how many Master Screws we got. Holy crap. GG. This is my, uh, obviously the ultimate weapons. Uh, 